In this presentation, we're going to look at the Chinese postman problem. The Chinese postman problem is about finding the minimum length closed walk that traverses each edge of a graph at least once. Just to be clear about a few points, a walk is a path in which edges may be repeated, and a closed walk is a walk that starts and finishes at the same vertex. So there are multiple steps to the algorithm. Here are four, the first four. There are more after this. But what we have to do is find all the odd vertices in the graph, determine all possible pairings of the odd vertices, and for each pairing, find the edges that connect the odd vertices with the shortest possible path, and determine the length of pairings, the combination of pairings that has the sh uh, sh uh, shortest total length. Let's look at an example there to get a sense of that. So here we have a graph with nine vertices, A to I, and we also have the lengths between vertices indicated. For example, the length between A and C is 70. There we have it there. So that, and for another example, E and D, the distance is 80. First off, what we have to do is determine the odd vertices. So what I have the degrees uh, indicated here in two, or in as numbers beside each vertex. Now, so A is an even vertex, it has degree 2. B is an odd vertex, it has degree 3. Let's make a note of that. F has degree 3. Let's make a note of that. E, G, 2. H, 5. That's an odd vertex. E is 4. C is 3. That's an odd vertex. D is even. I is even. Okay, so the e, odd vertices are... B, C, F, and H. Now what we got to do is determine pairings and find the shortest path between these pairings. So the first set of pairings would be B, C, and F, and H. Now, what is the shortest path between B and C? Well, there are multiple choices that we could take, but it seemingly the shortest path is going through E. So it is 50 plus 70, which is 120. And also, F to H is 60. Now, the, we're going to add up these two numbers here, and that's 180. Another possible pairing is BF and CH. So the distance between B and F is 50. The distance between H and C is 40, going through vertex E, 40 plus 70, which is 110. If we add up those two numbers there, we got 160. So the last possible option is BH and F and C. Well, we have multiple routes between B and H, but the shortest is going through vertex E. 50 plus 40 is 90. And between F and C, there's multiple uh, routes we could take, multiple paths we could take, I should say. Uh, we could go through vertex B and then through E, with the total length would be 170. We could go through H and then E, uh, and then that length is 170 still, so it really makes no difference. 260 is the shortest possible route. What we got to do now is find out, determine which of these pairings has the shortest total uh, distance between the pairings. And in this case, it's BF and CH. So we're going to make a note of that. And we're going to go on to the rest of the algorithm now. So just bear with me a second. So we're going to add the combination of pairings found previously as edges to the original graph. And the length of an optimal Chinese postman route is the sum of all edges in the augmented graph. So I'm going to go back to my graph now, and what we're going to do is add in extra edges as found by picking out the pairings with the shortest distance. So what I'm going to do, 
I'm going to add in vertices and uh, between the vertices BF, I'm going to add in an extra edge. There. And between C and H, I'm going to add in extra vertices there as well. Extra edge there. Sorry. There we go. Now you notice that actually what happens here is that the degree of those uh, vertices change. So B becomes now a de of degree 4, H F becomes degree 4, H becomes of degree 6, and C becomes of degree 4. So we actually now have an Eulerian path uh, through these, if you're familiar with what an Eulerian path is. Anyway, so that concludes our presentation. The total uh, the uh, total uh, distance for this is one zero five zero. So that is the total length of all the edges in this graph, and it's the shortest possible distance. Uh, that would cover each, it's the, the shortest distance that would traverse the graph. And that ends our presentation.